the 22 inch LCD monitors just keep on piling up. This is the panel from an Acer monitor of some unknown model, 2007 vintage, that I found in the trash and it's been subjected to a fair amount of water and uh, there has been water leakage into the panel assembly so there's water between the plastic layers of the panel and I usually wouldn't uh, bother trying to fix a panel like this but uh, sometimes got to be the first and uh, I noticed that it's actually a Samsung brand panel in this thing, so there's a b good chance that it's a rather good panel. If nothing else, I might be able to stick it in that one once its panel runs out. It's That thing's run more hours than it should. So, I'm going to try and take this whole panel assembly out and somehow dry it up. I'll try to show you how it looks when the when you shine a flashlight at the front of it because you can actually see how the water's penetrated into the uh, layers. I haven't actually fired the backlight of this panel up yet. The power supply is still a bit wet and this whole panel is still a bit wet so I'd like to clean it out and have a look at it first it might also have bad tubes in which case there's not much point in doing anything with that at all. Right I'm now shining my torch into the front of the panel and all these dark spots are places where there's a droplet of water inside the panel and the whole panel is like this. So yeah there's a fair amount of drying up to do, but it's not impossible. I've been inside LCD panels before. So, let's get this thing apart and see if there's anything to be done with it. And above all, check the tubes first, since this is a panel much like the one in the HP monitor I fixed earlier. Alright, got the front of the cell thing off and I'm now going to try and lift the panel out. My favourite technique is to use one of these uh, plastic poke things you can get off of eBay for pretty much no money. You don't want to use metal tools on these. And you just carefully put it underneath the panel you will need to clean the inside of a panel off after this because this will be full of fingerprints doesn't matter if you use gloves or not you will get it dirty but it's easy to clean off because it's just shiny glass now with the panel out of the way we can see the extent of the water damage a lot more clearly there's definitely a lot of water inside of this panel but it should be cleanable at least to some extent I did a bit of a goof up in removing the panel first because what was keeping it down was this sort of gasket thing here so I should have flipped the whole assembly around and checked the uh, CCFLs first because I still have no idea about if what shape they're in and if I flip it now there's a few plas plastic layers here usually about five or six of them that might will just fall out on me so I'm going to have to figure out some way to keep them stuck down without the panel because I'm not sticking that back unless I have to they're so delicate to deal with there we go I got the backlight frame out 
it was quite a bit of a bother because as you can see it's just dripping wet in here and uh, the water was sort of gluing the bottom layer of the backlight uh, spread uh, film whatever you want to call it the backlight diffuser I think the technical term is and it was just holding it onto the backlight frame like mad so I was almost afraid to bend this and break the tubes which thankfully didn't happen or rip phone call alright I've had the panels disassembled pretty in depth had all the backlight layers out including the funky polarization layer it was behind between this layer and this matte layer the last layer before the panel that most of the moisture was and I've cleaned everything out as good as I can they're a bit dirty because well I've had them out of the panel and this workshop's hardly a clean room but the water's gone I used a microfiber cloth to get rid of it and all I've got to do is put everything back together and I'm going to use compressed use compressed air to tear the place apart apparently but to clean off any hair and dirt and grime that's gotten in between the layers so that uh, there aren't any nasty spots on the display once it's finished because any dirt you get in between these backlight layers will show up like mad will show up more, you'll see them more than any scratch you'll ever get on the outside of the display short of perhaps cracking the display so I'll get to that and hopefully this panel will work again and have a bit of a less Dalmatian team to it Okay, I have now put the panel back together. Quite a picky procedure with this one. It's mostly just the, these uh, snap lock things. But it's sort of hard to get the panel in place properly. But I got it sorted. And I also found out why this monitor was tossed to begin with. And it's because the high voltage transformer for the backlight has something wrong with it one of the channels has a secondary coil uh, resistance of about 1k and the other one, the working one, has about 3k but uh, this seems to be a common problem with these monitors so I just ordered a new transformer on eBay for about three and a half euros so with a bit of luck that will bring this power supply back to life until then though I have uh, this power supply unit from a more modern 16 to 9 monitor that should work and I've hooked the panel up to it so I have confirmed that the tubes will fire and stay lit in this panel so I'm not too worried about how those will work but I am curious as to how well my cleaning up of the inside of the panel has gone all the water is definitely gone but I'm not sure how much contamination I've got there I did use compressed air to uh, clean it out while I reassembled it so hopefully it shouldn't be too bad but I'm not expecting it to be entirely clean but everything's hooked up so let's hook this thing up well let's turn the computer on so the monitor will actually turn on and let's plug it in I don't know if this power supply will actually turn on. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, damn it. I'm going to have to find some buttons for it. Right after some digging around, it was clear that that uh, inverter I tried with before was not going to fire. 
I had actually accidentally thrown away the rest of the monitor so I didn't have the uh, key set for it and yeah I couldn't get the power supply to turn on without the logic board either anyhow I found this ancient broken a 19 inch view sh view sonic monitor in the storage and it seems to run with this panel I got a slight test out of it so let's turn it on and see how well this repair has succeeded we can ob obviously not get uh, any signal to the monitor because there's no logic board going but we do have light let's see how clean yeah it's fairly clean there's a bit of dust and crap in it as you would expect if you've taken a taken an LCD apart but there's not a whole lot of it you can see that one there's another bit of dust there's a small one there's another one small hair somewhere there but yeah there's another hair but all in all that's not too bad considering I d don't have a proper clean room to do panel work in this monitor is definitely usable I've just got to get the new transformer for the power supply and I'll be able to put this thing back together lovely alright it's been about a week and I got my new transformer delivered from ebay old ones still destroyed I'm afraid but with a new one installed let's see if this thing will fire brace for explosions and there we go that looks a lot better than it did before it probably just turned off because there's no signal present let me fix that there we go I cheated you a bit and put the whole thing back together but it's certainly running now another thing is that this monitor seems to take the 1680 by 1050 output from a laptop just fine while the Samsung just screws it up this thing's as sharp as ever let's see what the OSD has to offer Eh, not much in standard Acer manner. Let's do a reset. Hmm, I think the contrast was pumped up. Yeah. Falls to 77% brightness. This thing probably hasn't run for too long. The backlight seems very bright and very blueish and new, hasn't turned red yet. Hmm. Yeah, I'm happy with this, although I didn't get the original feet with this thing but one of my standard issue IBM feet fits just fine so I'll be running that I think I might keep this monitor for myself rather than selling it since yeah I don't have too many 22 inch monitors and the old 19 inch over there well it has a bit of a lack of pixels really would be nice with something widescreen so yeah until next time cheerio